Henry Yakarundi, the innovator behind the innovative the entrepreneur from Rwanda. Au plaisir d'accueillir aujourd'hui Henri Nyakarundi. Pour en parler, l'équipage reçoit son concepteur, Monsieur Henri Nyakarundi. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to this uh, episode. And today's topic is um, offshore accounts uh, in a state. So let me let me backtrack a little bit for those who maybe have missed this vlog. But um, I did a vlog about uh, why so many companies that raise capital in Africa have a, a holding um, or a, a group level outside in Europe in the States and and for, for several reasons and I, I'll put the video somewhere at the end toward the end where you can see uh, the video but um, there is a reason why investors prefer Europe or the States because you know those are familiar places most of those investors come from those areas uh, they trust the laws of those countries more than they trust the laws of, uh, of the, the, the African countries, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So, and there's a lot of mechanism, financial mechanism that you can get. But uh, I got a lot of messages of people asking me, well, you know, well, what option do we have? What can we do? You know, as an entrepreneur, if we aren't able to raise capital locally, how are we gonna raise some money? And, and that's a good question. So I wanted to do a, a small vi video about offshore account based on my knowledge, the research I've done, some of the things we're doing also. Um, I mean, most people know Seychelles, Mauritius, um, uh, Cayman Islands and all, they're they known to be offshore known account. But you also have in the States, I don't know too much about Europe, but uh, you also have in the States, Delaware, Wyoming, Vegas, those are, are hubs where you know, they consider offshore account. But what most people don't know, and I want to share with you today, is you don't have to be a U.S. citizen to set up an offshore account in the States. You don't have. You can be a foreigner, setting up those structure, a holding company, but you're still doing business in Africa. That's what a lot of the big guys do. The big companies, and you can do the same thing. Now, there's a small cost to it, but it's not that expensive. Um, it doesn't cost as much money as you would think, but it requires research. I highly recommend to get a, a lawyer, a, a, an accountant, uh, know the, the ramification of all those things, um, the rules and regulation, but you can set up a holding in those areas and you can open a, a, a bank account, a business bank account that will allow you to, to get hard currency, uh, to do transactions, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and because you have those accounts in the states already, all the laws about terrorism and and all the policy and the requirements and the conditions automatically fulfilled because you already set up an account there. So those are the, the few things I wanted to touch base with and and share with you guys. Um, and that could be something you want to look at. Now, this is strictly for people that want to raise capital, that are doing businesses in multiple countries. Uh, if, if you're a mom and pop shop or a small business, you don't need all that nonsense. But if you're going to do a business, grow your business, trying to raise capital, this is the route I would suggest uh, as of now um, if, if you're trying to you know, increase your chances uh, to, to raise capital. I'm going to end with this. A lot of the fundraising right now with crowdfunding or crowd investing, which is something that I've been reading a lot about lately, uh, the ones in Europe require you to have a business in Europe. The ones in the States requires you to have a business in the States. So that could also be a strategy for you to follow. So I hope you like this video. Put your comment. If you know a little bit about offshore, just add, you know, whatever knowledge you have and take care.